Uh, just to show you again, I've got exactly almost one meter now, as you can see. Uh, temperature is 34.4 degrees. I went and I got another hydrometer that's got bigger scales on it. So there's the 100 mark there, and there's the 90 mark, and that's the 95 mark. And as you can see, it's just about on a 95% mark. I'll just turn it again. There's the 90 mark, and 95%. And a hundred mark. So I'll let it go, and it's spot on on the ninety-five percent mark. So it's very hard with it being floating around, but yeah, it's spot on ninety-five. And temperature in a boiler is 88.2 degrees. Top of the column is still steady at 78 degrees. The water temperature, which is this one here, it's your outlet. That's uh, 72.2 degrees. That's coming from the reflux condenser. So. I've got to change the jug out and I'll take more videos and add them up as I can. Uh, the time now, so yeah, just over a litre now, as if you can see, there's the litre mark there, which is a nice little stream. The time now is 12, 12.15 almost 12.16 thanks for watching yeah, let's get this on back, I just want to show you how I change the water from the esky the water is getting a little bit warm now, I can feel it's just starting to get a little bit lukewarm so there's a little fountain pump which is the outlet sucks the water up and then pumps it up in the, in the condenser to cool the condenser down and it goes up up to the top and then it comes back down and this is the outlet so all I'm doing now is instead of the water pumping back into the esky I'm just putting it in the bucket pumping all the water, dark water into the bucket then I've got this hose fitting in here it's got a little tap on it so I can fill it up again with cold water coming from the garden hose. So I'll just follow the hose and I'll show you. Here's the garden hose. And it runs into just a, a T piece or a Y piece. This is the one that goes to the esky. This other one uh, actually runs to the needle valve of the reflux condenser which is there and it runs up into the reflux condenser up there and then we've got a garden hose that comes from the outside through the door there and it comes in which is this one here and it's also got a tap on it so I can close it if I need to shut it off and um, yeah, show you the temperatures Still 72.4, nice and stable, 72.5, 78 degrees Celsius on the column. A very, very trickle little stream flowing very slowly. I was using a lot of water. I emptied about half a bucket of water now. Just because I'm filling up, I'm going to need the bucket to transfer the water from the esky and pump it out into this one to get rid of all the hot water in the esky so I can fill it up with cold water again 
for the condenses to cool the condenses. So that's for tap there. So it's, I can just turn it on. And just fill it up with cold water. Just like that. Shut it off. That's an easy way to change the water from the esky or your cooling water that cools down the condensers and just pump it straight into another bucket of the hot water to get rid of all the hot water um, this bucket is dirty so it's um, this is a big bucket I got it forgot from the outside which we use for the horses um, show you how much we got now oh. I'll just turn the jug over so I can read it better. Yeah, we've got 700 milliliters, about 700. That's my second lead I'm catching. Temperature, there's the 100 mark on the alchemeter. And I'm just going to turn it a little bit. And we're just, just running over 95. There's the 95 mark, the 90 mark. So we're getting about 95, almost 96 ABV. So I can't see the 95 mark, so it's just just under. Uh, te temperature of the alcohol. We'll just turn this thing on, see how much it is, 35.3 degrees, that's why I'm changing the condensers water because it's getting a little bit warmer, the alcohol that comes out. So yeah, the room temperature is 32.9 degrees in the garage. Test the temperature of the water with the probe. As you can see, it draws rapidly. It's probably close to about, yeah, it's about 39.2, 39.3. So it's starting to get a little bit warm. So, and on the boiler. The uh, bucket is filling up nicely, so I'll have to go and empty it soon. Eighty-nine degrees, 90 degrees on a boiler. Temperature is still 78 on the column and 72.3 on the water. Uh, reflux condenser. So, got to go and change this water. I'll just put this one back into the esky and go and empty the bucket. And then we'll fill up the bucket again, get rid of all the hot water. As long as the pump st stays submerged in the water, it's all good. So, running pretty smooth, very happy with this, the column. Uh, it's probably a lot better than my stainless steel one. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Uh, cheers. The second litre is almost finished. Uh, yeah, we've got another litre there. Currently at 35.2 degrees, um, which is 95.4 degrees Fahrenheit. pumping out of water, get rid of all the hot water and we'll let in some cool all the water for the columns uh, for the condenser shortly to cool all the vapors down, make it more efficient. So still running a temperature on a boiler, 90.3 degrees Celsius. 
78 on the top of the column, 72.3. Today I know it's just, just going. Nice and slow, steady. I don't know if you can see that. Not using much gas. And I've got to go and change this chuck. Cheers. Uh, to this, I just want to show you how I continue with the catch. Um, temperature on a probe, and the alcohol is 31.9 degrees Celsius. And then temperature is 29 degrees. Uh, we'll go to the boiler. Ninety two point nine degrees in the boiler. The top of the column is seventy eight degrees Celsius and seventy two point two degrees Celsius on the water outlet from the reflux condenser. Um, that's all water. It's probably about 20 litres of water I used so far. There's a slight little stream, very hot. It's 72.2 degrees on that water. 78 on the top of the column. So, temperature is rising quick now. It's 92.9 degrees on the boiler. Um, alcohol is exhausting now. We're getting a, a low reading on the hydrometer or the alco meter. Uh, I'm going to show you this 100 mark and a 9 and a 95 mark. And currently we're running at about 93-94 percent. 93-94 percent. The tiny little stream. Uh, we've done three liters already. Currently, uh, it looks like we got about 150 moles. And these are three one-liter bottles I've caught so far. So. That's number three, two and one. I'm only catching about four litres. I'll probably stop stop the catch at about 95 degrees Celsius on the boiler. Well, I'll just finish with one litre by the wall and that will be the end of the run. It's going to be going higher than 95 percent, 95 degrees. So, temperature is still looking good on a reflux condenser and at the top of the column which is 78 uh, so just running off LP gas so the water is still running nicely test the water temperature That's a water temperature of the condensers, which I've just changed. And it's running nice and cool, 31.1 degrees Celsius. So we'll see if we can change it over to Fahrenheit. About 88 degrees Fahrenheit. See what the temperature of the water is that comes out.
Looks like it's roughly about 94 degrees Fahrenheit. So, alcohol temperature. Coming out of the condensers, looking at about 85.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll see how many degrees Celsius that is. 